So I lowered my uh, full wave loop here, 75 meters, and what I found was my uh, 75 ohm tuning stub had an intermittent short in the connector. So I resoldered all the connections and I got a, a healthier piece of coax here. Gonna run it over to the grounding bus there. And the greenhouse there, there's the grounding bus. And there, and that goes into the shack, which is uh, in that window. So, whoops. But anyway, So we look up in the canopy of the tree here, you can see my two other dipoles. If I zoom in, we can see the wires here. Let's see. You see those? Up about 90 feet. Well, one, of the, one of those is my 160 meter dipole. And the other one is a 75 meter dipole. So the loop it's probably uh, 15 feet below the canopy. It's in a diamond configuration. So these trees are probably every bit of 90 foot high. And not only that, the ground goes down. This is a very steep hill here in my backyard. So my technique for launching these, trial and error, I got an aluminum arrow. And what I did was, I found a machine screw that fit the head of the arrow. And then I took a, about four ounces of lead from a lead sinker and I, I melted it into a pipe fitting and then sunk the screw in. So this is kind of like, a, you saw the movie Rambo with the, the, the grenade arrows, that's what this is. So, I can lob that over the tree with my compound bow that's been turned way down. And all I have to do is get it over the top of the canopy, and gravity pulls it right to earth. Even if I misfire, I just pay out the, the kite string, and the arrow drops to earth. So, the way I did the loop was, I put about 100 feet of kite string on the ground in a zigzag. And then the end of it I tied to my 12 gauge wire for the loop. And it was like sewing. I would shoot the arrow through the first tree and it would land in the backyard. And then I tied the end of the loop to it and pull it up through. And then I shot a second arrow through the second crotch of the tree about 65, 70 feet up. And then the third one over here, can't see it very well, and then I shot a line over this tree and a line over this tree straight up and the two of these pull in unison to, to make the diamond shape for the loop. So let's see how she plays tonight. Hopefully it doesn't flash over.